Yeah, yeah, the coffee is uh, very delicious. But dang, if it doesn't Snow. exist as a diuretic. Any warmer out here. I need strong arrows to fuck this guy up. There we go, it didn't alert. That's what I wanted. So, mulling over the fact we have the Hades, and now we have an Elizabeth Sobek, who is apparently a human that we look like. Quote unquote, our mother. I'm wondering, so, continuing with the idea that Hades is like a AGI, like maybe a military AGI that went amok. And that we suddenly appeared in that cave. I'm wondering if we are a clone of one of the scientists kind of thing. And so like when Hades was unsealed, um, part of it being unsealed is um, Elizabeth Sobek um, becoming uh, 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 free again. Or maybe like some backup like emergency protocol. It's like, oh shit, the seals come undone, um, clone, clone me or something. Gotcha. Easy. Nope, not what I meant to do. Not what I meant to do. Not what I meant to do. Uh, uh, uh. Stealth. I like they can't detect me in this tiny little bush. Yeah, it also makes me wonder because we have Hades, so we have Greek mythos, Sobek, Egyptian. I wonder if there's going to be other um, other mythologies. So, like, if we get a, I think it's going to matter a lot if. If the next one is Norse mythology, that one I am a lot sharper on. So depending on um, what character from here. Norse mythology shows up, I think will give me a very big clue as to how the puzzle fits together. Whether it is Hel or Nithog or um, any of those things. Yeah, I'm certainly, I'm certainly thinking AI, like AGI, somehow got at this. Because, like, so far, as far as dates to place how far in the future we are, there was a journal we found that was dated, I want to say, 2066. And it seemed like the people were either taking some kind of meditation because of something going on or they were taking drugs because they were like a a nihilism trying to ignore their slowly dying situation um, it was very unclear what was going on i don't think he's gonna leave you know what? i have rocks so um so 2066 so we have that date now, we found it in a place that was very dilapidated, overgrown forest in a building area. So, I would say a, at least a hundred years after that date, minimum, for like the stalactite growth and all that stuff. So, I want to say we're in like the 21, maybe 2200. Also, I'm probably going to die because I'm dumb. Just casually, as one does. Uh, I got absolutely nothing. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to, I think I'm going to have to kill that corruptor. So it's supposed to be going that way. I don't know how, though. That seemed like a dead end. You cannot hide from our I'm not trying to hide. So you 
go over here and then fucking what, man? Oh, yellow. That means I climb up. All right, let's uh, let's try that again. Hell yeah. One happy family. Now that's a shot. Okay. I think I know where I am now. I went wide around this building. Cut through. Now that I have these upgraded arrows, I can one-shot the Corrupted Watchers right in the eye. Okay, no more sneaking. What? You've got to be... <clears throat> of all the ways to be discovered. Okay. Egg on my face. Ah, from you see me. Subtract the ads, simplify, and solve. Don't tell me there's an okay, never mind, it's a watcher. For a second I thought I had to deal with two corruptors again, and I would have been very mad. Come on, I just need to make it overheat. Ah! I'm wondering if the fact that we're in a cold climate is making it harder for me to uh, rank up the temperature. Expected. How am I healing? Oh! oh! Guy got melee and axe me. All right. Let's uh. Let's pay attention to our surroundings this time, and not just like walk right up to a guy, alerting everyone. The Eclipse and Corrupted Machines, cooperating, one happy family. Alas. 
The pods must be visitors. You know what? Unpogs your champion. I did it right in front of you. My damaging arrow. Uh, let's reposition a little bit. Oh my god. It's got And you know what? Fair enough. Just chucking a rock in a general position is a good strategy to get someone to uh move because um it is a giant rock, and those hurt. Look at me. Watchers acting as guards. Look at me. The eclipse and corrupted machines. Look at me. Cooperating. One happy family. Piece of shit. Here we go again. Maybe I should go this way. Maybe I can thin out the enemies before I even get to the corruptor. Eclipse, just like you said. Human kill, headshot, stealth kill. Good combo. Which is long ago, but not the ancients buried in the ground. Contact. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, almost, almost interrupted it. I think it's a really strange game to have a level up concept. I could understand it if it's like I was finding technology. I, don't know, I, I feel like like discovering things to to broaden my skill set would be would make a lot more sense than a a level up system in this I game. The demons raced before the ground freezes again. You can breathe again. They're massive. So we still don't know that actually. 
Um, we don't know why. We also... They also have, like, actual projectile guns sometimes, which is something that, like, normal factions that we've run into so far do not. So that's sort of why I'm thinking the, the warlike AGI, like, got unsealed. And then, like, these people, you know, it's the far future. They don't really, they may not even know what an AI is. So they just, they just think it's the devil, like it's a spirit. And so maybe they're, like, worshipping it. And it's what's controlling the corrupted rather than them directly. I need to get up there. I gotta run back a bit. Ooh, health potions. Actually, I oh, should make more of these. I should see if I can make more potions because that would be well. I can make one potion. Yay. At least I'm finding more. You can't smell me. I took a shower. Nothing there. You know what? You're right. They probably smell the lavender on me. It's giving me right away. I should have taken a roll in the mud. Lying shot directly at me though? Damn, dude. <laughs> yeah, apparently the rock technique is uh, SOP for them. Yeah, I need to go this way. This chuckle fuck in my way. Might prove a challenge. So let me. Go get the rock!
Go get the rock! Go get the rock! Go get the fucking rock! There we go! Hell yeah. An explosion. Vessel Thunderheads. Oh, these were the ancient vessels. Oh, they're cups. Oh, it's a, it's a collectible Mollocks. Oh, slag that. I have played. I have played enough rareware games. I don't. I don't need to get sucked down into that. Donkey Kong 64 was bad enough. That is Time to get it moving and be quick about Deathbringer? Oh that's a fucking name. Electricity and fire. Has to be one of the Deathbringers everyone talked about. Oh, Don't you know? Don't you know? Don't you know? Too many guns. Ah, missiles! Now this is Mech Warrior. On the plus side, it is a very slow machine. No! I didn't use a potion! I am a fool! Alright, All right, this time let's actually take out the, uh, the Watchers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Daydreaming. Soon this demon will be up and running. Another <laughs> Has to be one of the death bringers Owen talked about. I mean, I'll never get into that tower. Unless I destroy that thing first. Focus. It stopped working. I've disabled his focus. All this is up to you. I'll handle it. Please blast it out. Woo, baby! Ow! Ah! Missiles! 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 Missile! Wow. Alright. I did not get a chance to uh, heal up. 
foolish of me. Quick about it. No daydreaming. Soon this demon. What are they shooting? My focus. It stopped working. I've disabled his focus. The rest is up to you. I'll handle it. Steam's blasting out. I wonder if those are weak points. There's one more human and yes, one more search bot left. <laughs> Hitting that thing really hurt it. It's free damage. Oh, there's a way through here. There we go. What the? It's yellow. There we go. You cannot run from righteousness. Oh, I'm not trying to run. I'm here to fuck you up. Did it. All right, that was uh pack a punch. That was extremely right. smooth so compared to last time. Focus. Let's see what's on it. Tiny meat. Give me your Dorito. Let's see what you have to say. Whoa, Alloy. Don't don't be eating Doritos you just find on the ground. What? What is this? The entity lives. Unacceptable. 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 <laughs> yeah, clear it cleared up my eyes. That uh that was extra extra spicy Dorito. Um a for forbidden Dorito even. Looks tight, but I can squeeze through. And Ent entity still lives. I feel like that's led lead that 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 giving credence to my uh my uh my uh clone theory hold for identity scan one of these again genetic profile confirmed Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. 
Please step inside. You know what the Dr. Sobek first made me think of? Uh, Renekton from League of Legends, but in a lab coat. That's the mental image I had. Yeah, who knows in the far future what uh, confectionaries uh, will or what That's won't explode. You are 355,510 days out of the day for your meeting with Mr. Farrell. Please proceed to the 35th floor. Wait, wait, wait. 350,000. That's hundreds of years ago. What's going on? Holy shit. How close am I to calling the year being the 2200? Let me, let me go down. <clears throat> I know, yellow is a really weird color to be marking your um, parkour areas. I don't know if uh, like could have been chosen a better, more stand out color. Pharaoh. So Pharaoh isn't a a aperture science not aperture, um abstergo company. It's a it's a it's a person. Maybe he's like the CEO or the head doctor? I mean, it's just OSHA standard. You know, you, uh, you make sure to put a fresh application of mustard over um, anything you're going to be climbing on. It's just perfect sense. The protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms. Quantum encryption, black quartz stuff, way beyond military grade. That's what you demanded. So that's what we delivered. You don't code something you can't crack. All we need is a backdoor. Upload the latest service pack update and the problem goes away. You specifically forbade us from leaving anything resembling a backdoor in code. Every protocol to Black Court standard. Your words. Look, if you need me to fudge some projections, it's nothing we haven't done before. I don't need fudged projections. I need a way to reassert control over the Hearts Timor Swarm. I don't know what to tell you, Ted. You're asking the impossible. So, codes. They needed codes of some kind to control the machines. But they got out of control. That sounds bad. Good call on the Pharaoh for Egyptian. That I did not immediately think of that, but I think you are I think you're right. I, I do think uh I think this corporation is all gonna be Egyptian themed persons. Um I'm doing pretty good, 19 bucks. We're uh we're getting into some uh some juicy plot stuff here in Horizon Dawn, so a lot better than last week, which felt a little bit empty, a little bit more running around than I was wanting or expecting. Okay, so that was a firmware coder, and they were talking about um, uploading, you know, trying to get a backdoor, and they talked about a swarm. So I definitely think we're Maybe not a gray goo apocalypse event, um, which if, if, if anyone's not aware of what that means, um, there, there's a theoretical end, end of the world apocalypse where you have a nanomachine swarm who, like at the molecular level, is able to manipulate things. And all it does is it gets, it gets loose and starts just making more of itself. So converting everything into more of its own nanomachines, who convert more of it into its nanomachines, hence gray goo. You know, turning everything into nanomachines. Um, so they lost control of the swarm, so there is some sort of nanomachines going on. Now they're talking about firmware and uploading. Now usually in tech, if you can get access, if you have access to the firmware, you have like the, the keys, and the permissions to be able to upload firmware, um, usually you can basically load in your own back door. Um, I, I've seen, I've read some interesting tech things of people doing stuff like that. Like, uh, 
There was a guy uh, checking IP cameras, and um, one of them he couldn't log into it to do some testing on how easy it is to break into it from an external actor. So he impersonated and did a little bit of social engineering to get the company to send him like a firmware uh, downgrade. Um, I can't remember how or like what he, the bullshit reason he justified it. And he was able to basically take that, fir that raw firmware, um, make some slight modifications, flash it onto the IP cameras drive and basically give himself access to log into it. Um, so usually if you if you are able to load firmware, you can usually you can make your own way in. Um, that's usually the thing with tech. If you have physical access to something, you can compromise it provided you have enough time and resources Welcome and motivation. To automated solutions where all the problems of tomorrow are being solved today. With over 25,000 human employees based in nations and corporate holdings across the globe, Ferro leads the world in every sector of self-sustaining, fully automated technology. From revolutionary consumer products close to home, like the Ferro Focus, to the dynamic chariot line of peacekeeping robots halting bloodshed in conflict zones across the globe, Faro remains committed to making the future smarter, brighter, safer, and always surprising. Faro Automated Solutions. For every problem of life, a smart solution. So they made the focus. 25,000 people? That's bigger than a tribe. So they made machines and devices. I guess those things were common in their world. Okay, I take that back. Uh, definitely a lot of Abstergo vibes, um, especially with a dude who names everything after himself. Um, guy has a huge ego. Um, what was I saying? Ah, yes, uh, firmware. Uh, they talked about quantum encryption and, you know, unable to break into it. It is very much possible to have an encryption that is you, you can you can generate an encryption key much easier than it can take to crack it and that's honestly kind of the key to um the most secure encryption mechanisms we do have is the time to crack them is absolutely massive compared to the computation time of Welcome to Feral the key Automated itself. Solutions, where all the problems of tomorrow are being solved today. Is this just replaying? With over 25, yeah, it's just replaying. Never mind. Go away. What was this place? What were they doing here? It was a corporation. A group of people not unlike a tribe. And they made machines. Yeah, go on. I've uploaded some data files to your focus. They'll help you understand. Okay, we're missing that first one. Elizabeth Sobek. Okay, this is a lot of text. I'm just going to kind of skim this. 40. Companies pivot to automated military technologies. All right, I think this is this is a good. Uh, I feel like I'm on the right track with Hades being a rogue military AGI. She founded Miram Technologies. Ooh, competing company. Interesting. Interesting. Um, where the f Ted Pharaoh? Of course, trillionaire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course.
Okay, nothing too exciting that jumped out at me from Pharaoh. That's Baz. Oh, that's the just the sort for Pharaoh's Corporation. Okay, okay, Salt Lake City, Utah. Okay, okay. Alfred. Oh my god, that's that's like peak fucking tech bro business. Alfred, but we replaced the A with an at sign. We're hip and forward thinking. So Pharaoh basically owned the world. Um, okay. Nothing too big. Mostly knowing that Sobet left Pharaoh and started her own company. I think that's going to be important somehow. What else you got for me, mysterious voice? I know this must seem like a bizarre change in direction. I mean, we're Pharaoh Automated Solutions, right? Number one robotics firm in the world. Why would we clear our production slate to fabricate human-operated vehicles and weapon systems, the relics of the past? All I can say at this juncture is... Trust me. We will be exploiting a massive, uh growth opportunity by retooling and reallocating capacity according to my plan. So I will need revised projections of mass fabrication velocity across every pipeline within 36 hours. So they were making machines and they stopped. <laughs> okay. Weapons. Why? So I think this is Pharaoh. He's like, all right, um, we've lost control of the swarm. Um, don't panic because, uh, we're making bow bows and arrows now that the swarm can't use and uh and uh every every soldier go grab uh go grab a go grab a gun um some very uh cave johnson panicking slash pivoting um to new business opportunity uh that he accidentally created because of his fuck up Come on, come on, give me more delicious lore. Yes, it is a supply crate. Give me that shit. The air. There's no smell to it. Not even old death. Nothing natural. Ooh, we have working aircon? No, nah, but this is a cave. That's the only reason I can think of that. It would be remarkable to her that there's like no smell. So there's got to be somehow some functioning air filtration going on. Another cave in, but I could get through. Excuse me. Complaint. Okay, Friedkin, fuck you. Fucking selling combat bots to two sides of a war and intentionally stoking the flames of that conflict because it'll make you money. Yeah, I can certainly see where uh, Pharaoh's corporation suddenly ran into problems when they pivoted to military robots. And always, always comes back to weapons manufacturing. I'm sure this place is fine. Huh. 
hollow projector. Looks like I can climb here. Dr. Light. Oh, I can use that as a ramp to get back up. Ow. Oh, did I fall? Welcome to Feral Automated Sim Blood Nashes. All right. I need. I actually needed to go up. Whoopsie. It's cold in here. I gotta get my cardio. Is there a thing up there? Am I going crazy? Okay, no, it's just the ceiling. No core like parkour. Some other yellow. Did I miss anything? Supply three. Mm, whatever. All right. Says so I need to go that way. So first rule of exploring: go the opposite direction. Spiritual summit. Spiritualness and afterlife considerations. Hmm. Protests oh, people were angry at and people angry at Faro. The corporation. They blamed this place for something. Something bad. Hollow projector. Hollow projector. Okay, okay, okay. Is there anything other than the hollow projectors in here? Nope. All right. What do we got? Hollow. SP5 Kopesh provides a one-size-fits-all solution to main battle force capability. Metamaterial construction delivers unmatched recoil dampening, allowing That's the death you to fear any weapon. Okay. What's this one going to show me? The BOR7 Horus. Imagine your complete engagement ecosystem comprehensively managed by a high-speed learning machine network. Whether your need is to replace battlefield losses or intensify force projection, the Horus' onboard manufacturing capabilities mean you'll never get stuck waiting for the next arms delivery. Simply redefine your force parameters, and the Horus will fabricate additional units to fill the ranks for an affordable... Horus. Back to Egyptian gods. Is the Horus hate? No. I feel like the Horus, it sounds like they're they're doing the cauldron. They're like the cauldrons because they're they're manufacturing robots. What's this one? The ACA3 scarab combines conventional and information warfare capabilities in one package. Corruptors. Designed okay. for high speed all-terrain reconnaissance. It boasts the world's highest survivability rating of any scout class autonomous agent. Maybe it's the Scarab's emergency biomass conversion systems that ensure it always makes it back to base. Even if fuel supply lines have been interdicted. Or maybe it Oh, biomass conversion. Okay. 
Um, ooh, yeah, I, that is a, not a word I want to hear with uh, autonomous robots. Um, yeah, literally put the put the rich into the wood chipper. Looks like the way up. What's left of it? I wonder, I wonder what's the uh, bullets per pound. I guess now we know why a lot of the robots are like seem like they're digging. You know, they're literally harvesting biomass. Hang on up here. Guess I can too. And you know what? That might be why there's like no large fauna anymore. Like I like I mentioned earlier, we haven't seen anything like wolves or or deer or moose. Like all that large stuff has been com eaten up by the robots for biomass. So the only thing living are the very... God damn it. Are the, the small creatures, the ones that are better, best able to hide from these massive machines. I bet those, those deer ones that we see, like, digging, I wonder if they're more for, like, harvesting, like, minerals and rocks and such to feed into the um, energy converters. Frost catching in my throat. Oh, what's up, Empress? Yeah, yeah. Stopped by uh, when we caught up to the. Uh, we got to that big new town. I remembered to finally check a merchant. I think I got what? Tier 3 armor, tier 3 bow. Pretty fun playing with the new arrows. Especially now I can two shot the corrupted watchers. <sighs> oh yeah, for my avatar too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that uh, that other scrungly bow, not good. Now I duct taped it on and I paid for it. Got all tangled up with my feathers and my little chain thing from my earpiece to my neck piece. When they engaged in unauthorized offensive operations against robots and human personnel of the Hearts Team or Energy Combine. Now, I wish that I could relate that the crisis has been exaggerated, but it's not. The peacekeepers have not responded to stand down coats, and by all signs, they appear to be replicating at a precipitous rate. Now, what I can promise you, can absolutely assure you, is that I am already devoting every possible resource towards reaching a speedy conclusion to this issue. So when you hear the bad talk about us against this company in the days, maybe weeks to come, just bear in mind that we will get past this. And a day's coming when none of this will matter. Peacekeepers. That's what they called their machines. They were built for war, not peace. Yeah, this uh, this new bow, um, much, much better. And more intelligent, intelligently attached. You know, I use I use a, a much safer adhesive. You know, comes off with just a little bit of water and ethyl alcohol. You know, very simple. We'll have no troubles. Huh. Strange. Those emotes should have bounced around. Hmm, I might need to fiddle with VTube Studio. They could have sworn I turned on the uh, bouncing emojis. Especially since they recently updated, so now um, emojis on Better TV extension should also uh, show up instead of Twitch hosted only. Oh, did it bounce? And I just miss it? Maybe I'm crazy. Did 
jump up. Nope. A quick way down. I don't think I want to go down. I'm going to go up. I want uppies. Uppies. Maybe I have to go down to go up. Oh, that scared me for a second. I thought I was about to get mulched. <laughs> yeah, she she's uh she's a little goober. Do you work with snakes? Is that my uh Or is he uh freaked out about snakes? I'm just wondering why I <laughs> passed on the story. Ban the sea incident. <laughs> the robot mulched a bunch of dolphins. Whoopsie! And don't you hate it when your robots just go and uh, mulch an endangered species? The way up. All it takes is a few good handholds. Beardies are pretty great too. What the? Okay, I'm here. Do I just go up again? Yeah, I guess I do. All right, made it. Wonder what we'll find. Can we get much higher? My thing is, I just can't. Um, I could make salads for them, but I don't want to deal with crickets or um, cockroach colonies. Same reason, like, I don't. I kind of want a spider, but I also. I don't want to deal with, like, what it would feed on. Has 15 minutes in 20 words. Um, climb big building. Robots went rogue. And fed on biomass. Hence everything gone. Some kind of power cell. I wonder what it's for. Okay, why the fuck am I all the way up here? Oh yeah, yeah, jumping spiders are adorable. If that was a collectible I got, then whatever. Three zettabyte storage rack. Six percent power remain. Damn. Six percent power after a couple hundred years in the exposed weather? Shit, this thing's like the most resilient technology I have ever seen. Do you wish to deploy alpha privileges to recover batch data? Oh yes, I believe I do. A file has been recovered. A file. <laughs> uh, 
A single file. Elizabeth, good to, uh... It's been years. Where's your legal team, Ted? No need. I dropped all 18 lawsuits the moment you landed. I assume your data confirms this. All right, this promises to be interesting. Perhaps we could have lunch brought in. You know, get reacquainted. I know you, Ted. You've screwed something up, something big, or you wouldn't have eaten the crow necessary to get me here. So, spit it out. There's... a glitch in the chariot line. Your killer robots? Peacekeepers, yes. Those. So shut them down. <laughs> Obviously, Liz, we would, if we could. They're not responding. Are you telling me a swarm has gone rogue, Ted? It's worse than that. <sighs> Show me the data then. And I'll take that lunch. Alone. Ted Faro brought Elizabeth Sobek here, but they hated each other. Another file has been recovered. This is a glitch. It's a catastrophe. Certainly one way to worse. It's bad. Bad? Jesus, Liz. It's not bad, Ted. It's apocalyptic. You built a line of killer robots. Peacekeepers. That consume biomass as fuel. In emergencies. And you made them capable of self-replication. Limited, self-manufacture, controlled. Dude! Not anymore. The glitch severed chain of command. The only nation this swarm answers to now is itself. What? You, you think I did? Everything else is just food. And at the rate it's replicating, Ted, it will strip the Earth bare in 15 months. Yep, Grey Goo Apocalypse. We're talking fall of civilization. We're talking extinction. I get it, Liz. So how do I stop it while it's contained? It's not contained. It can't be. You know what I mean. Right. Before the truth gets out, you mean. Liz, I will do anything you say. Keep working it, and whatever you recommend, I'll do. I'm gonna hold you to that, Ted. Okay, um... Thorough robots threatened all life on Earth. But somehow she defeated them. The world of the old ones fell, but life went on, or we wouldn't be here. Okay, so, um, final, okay. First, um, so, Ted, um, what I'm gonna need you to do is, um, I got this wood chipper right here, okay, and it's, it's, unfortunately, there's low power. It's at a very low, slow setting. I'm gonna need you to step into it feet first. I, I assure you, this is very critical in solving our current crisis. And, uh, as soon as you settle in, I will turn it on. All right. What's uh? What was the final? What's the final data? Zero dawn. Jesus, Liz. There has to be another way. If there are a nicer way to fix your mess, I would have proposed it. But this, this. When I asked you to find a cure, I didn't expect it to be worse than the disease. It's not, Ted. It may be grim, but it's our only chance. Now sign the proposal. Sign it. I can't sign that. Yes, you can. That? Liz, I cannot in good conscience sign that. You've got a choice, Ted. I know. I'm speaking to you from a VTOL en route to U.S. Robot Command. The Robot Command. In 15 minutes, I meet with General Harris and the rest of the Joint Chiefs. What? what? Are you crazy? Now your choice is what I tell them. Sign, and I'll tell them the wealthiest corporation on Earth has guaranteed the funds necessary to build Zero Dawn. Exactly as I've designed it. Or don't sign, and I will make sure they and everyone else on this planet knows the real cause of the glitch. Jesus, Liz. You don't have to threaten me. Obviously she does, Ted. Chuckle fuck, McGee. Look on the bright side, Ted. From here on out, you get to do what you've always been good at. Footing the bill while others get their hands dirty. Ho ho ho! God forgive me. That's a parting shot. Her solution's so terrible. 
What does she do to stop the robots? Executive access detected. Express lift opened. Okay. Project Zero Dawn. A way that stopped the out of control machine. Something that, quote unquote, just as bad as the disease. My guess is it is some kind of global EMP kind of thing. So like something that would utterly destroy and obliterate technology. Um, basically a, a hard reboot of everything in the world all at the same time. The idea being if everything is offline at the same time, it would be dead because there's no way for it to be online and communicating and replicating. Um, I'm wondering if they didn't anticipate the some something something survived, something stuck around, like maybe something was accidentally overshielded through the EMP. And so we have these not benign because they're still very violent, but they're not exponentially replicated like the original problem. I think that's 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 where my that's where my current theory thought line's going. This, this doesn't add up. Sobek couldn't have been my mother. She lived ages ago. That's because you're a clone, Alloy. All this searching, and I'm still no closer. Is that your reaction to everything you've just learned? To whine like a spoiled child? You should really try talking that way to me face to face. As you wish. Do you really have no idea how monumental are the discoveries you just made, Aloy? I expected more of you. So, you have a face. Got a name to go with it? Of all the questions you could ask right now, that's the one you choose. Uh, yes? I've spent decades searching the ruins of the old ones, trying to solve the mystery of what happened to them. For years, I've suspected that feral robots destroyed their civilization, but I could never confirm it. And in minutes, you uncover more ancient knowledge than I have in a lifetime, and what you want to know is my name. Silence. That's my name. Now, Silence. why don't you try asking another question? Something less trivial. Silence. Hmm. Silence. First word that comes to mind on that is silence. But that doesn't really that doesn't really fit him. Hmm. You have no idea what I've been through. How hard it's been. My whole life, I grew up not knowing who I am or where I came from, and then come the Eclipse trying to kill me just because I look like this Elizabeth Sobeck woman. And they killed the man who raised you and you found the mountain as a baby. I already know this through your focus. Oh shit, he's a hacker The point man. is, every time I take a step forward, the answers slip farther from my grasp. <sighs> you just don't understand. It's not that I don't understand, Aloy. Fuck that I don't care. Damn, dude. That's some empathy. If the answers keep slipping away every step you take, then you best start running to catch up. Maybe then you'll realize just how big your problems really are. What exactly are you talking about? You've chased a personal riddle into a crowd of larger mysteries. The common thread is your connection to Elizabeth Subic. But what is that connection? She couldn't have been my mother if she lived centuries ago. We don't know the connection yet. The only way to find out is to keep going, to keep making discoveries. Thanks to you, we've only just now learned that Pharaoh robots once threatened to end life on Earth. But it didn't happen. The Old One's civilization was destroyed, but life... life was saved. Obviously. So... What did Elizabeth do? How did she stop the robots before all was lost? What was Project Zero Dawn? Exactly the question. No. 
Are you ready to go get the answer? Of course I am. Then why are you still standing here? Because you're talking to me. Not so fast, Silence. You've got some explaining to do. I've told you quite enough. If you still got questions, be quick about it and stop wasting my time. So far as I can tell, the Eclipse are just following orders. It's Hades who wants me dead. Who is he? I don't know. The Eclipse describe him as a buried shadow, some kind of devil. That thing that spoke to me outside, that made that focus explode. That was Hades? It, it didn't seem like a person or a machine. More like a phantom. It's an alien! A voice. All that's certain is that he wants you dead. Because of my connection to Elizabeth. Has to be. Hades is using the Eclipse to resurrect feral robots. But if Elizabeth found a way to stop them centuries ago, if she made special weapons, maybe Hades is worried I'll do the same thing. In some of the ancient data I've recovered, there are hints of so-called super weapons being developed. Maybe to stop the robots, the civilization of the old ones had to destroy itself. Now that's enough talking. Be on your way. Oh no. I'm just getting started. You've been getting a free ride on my focus, risking nothing while I risk everything. All I have to do is take this thing off my head, and you'll be blind, deaf, and dumb. So quit complaining and answer my questions. Yeah, fucking tell him, Alloy. Proceed. You got him by the Doritos. You've been using my focus to spy on me. How's that possible? Every focus emits a signal, a voice that only other focuses can hear. I know how to string those that voices 7G together, network. how to make them talk to each other, to communicate, even over vast distances. How do you learn to do that? Years of study and experimentation. In principle, it's not so different from how you override machines. I override focuses. And you can spy through other Eclipse's focuses, too. Usually. All I'll say is that overriding the connections is... complicated. Is there any chance that Elizabeth Sobek could still be alive somehow? It's highly unlikely, but not impossible. Some of the ancient data I've recovered includes mentions of life extension techniques. Pharmaceuticals, mostly. An ancient word for medicine. But some were still trying to perfect ways of freezing and unfreezing people. Freezing and unfreezing people? Cryogenics, they called it. But there were problems with it. Given Elizabeth's technological acumen, I can't definitively rule out that she found a way to make herself immortal. <laughs> But this is speculation. That would be a hell of an Easter Wasting egg. Time. Elizabeth right. told Ted Faro she was bad. headed for a place called U.S. Robot Command to tell people about Zero Dawn. The place still exists as a ruin. The Asaram call it the Grave Horde. Grave Horde? Cheery name. You'll find it in the Eastern Mountains, buried under the tangled coils of a metal devil, or a B.O.R. 7 Horus, rather, as we're learning to call them. I'll contact you when you get there. Oh shit, a Horus. Those are things that can replicate. Now I remember what that guy's voice makes me reminds me of. Um, have you ever seen a guy who does well, getting down will does be YouTube bits of funny animal facts uh, called the Frog? Z Frank. Z E and then Frank, like the name. I, I'm, I don't think it's him, but it sounds really, really like him. Um, but yeah, the the who asked card. My my mind went to um, he went he went full uh, Street Fighter movie in Bison. For you, it was the most important day of your life. For me, it was a Tuesday.
actually. Is this just having me go down to... Okay, um, before I do that quest, I'm going to this one. Because I can fast travel! So we kind of put his quest on pause while we ran all the way up there to get some fast travel campsites. And where we left off with this guy is... We found out his sister was not actually murdered in an ambush by... Um, the Shadow Karja. His sister is actually still alive. They were kind of paralyzed with some kind of aural stunning gun. Um, my running theory is that his sister is actually building up forces to coup the current king and take control of this um, this city. Right, this is a long loading screen. Oh no! The hat, the, the hat's not stuck to my tongue, it's stuck to my body. Ah. Ah. <laughs> oh, whoops. I was gonna, uh, was gonna do a little bit of thinking, but uh, I guess not. <laughs> King Avad's decree brought the Hunter's Lodge in line. Here they had to admit another woman into the ranks. Oh right, I also wanted to check um, with a merchant to see if I can buy meat because I need to. I need food to make potions. Resources. Na, 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 Golden fast travel pack. Unlimited fast travel. How much is the normal fast travel? Wood, rich meat. Oh, I have zero fatty. Zero fatty meat. Well, butts. What are with these free boxes? I don't know. Don't want to deal with that. Alright, guess I can't buy meat. This isn't up to their usual. Ah, oh, Meridian. There are no shadows under the noonday sun. See a thing? Can you believe that the Asram live on top of the Oh, it's a supply pool. Oh, good shit. Thought it was a random burrito or a message. Mad something. Yeah, that was the previous king that was raiding other groups to sacrifice people to try and appease the machines. Spoiler! The machines did not give a fuck. I mean, they were happy for the biomass, obviously. Greetings, Aloy. I am known as Blameless Marad. Please come with me. You're needed for an important consultation. What do you mean? Where's Erend? He's inside, attending the Sun King, where we should be without further delay. Follow me, please. All of these people are here to see the Sun King. Yes, and each has come to ask a favor of him. Unpleasant, but that's politics. The Sun King is eager to meet you, the machine tamer with a curious eye for detail. 
It's all very intriguing. I'm not here to intrigue you. Too late. First the Osiram gets special treatment Yeah, he certainly has an accent. Hey, we got the uh, Disney Fast Pass. Hey, yo. I've been here for two hours and Miss Nora goes to the front of the line. Ignore them. Nobles are like children who whine when they don't get a second helping of dessert. Oh, this is awful. And your character is faster than the escort. The most important thing is what he isn't like. But also slower. I think you'll find him to be a reasonable man. Aloy of the Nora. She who sees the unseen. Welcome. It would seem you have done me a great service. Erend, tell her what you found. I, I checked Ursa's tomb. You were right, Aloy. The body is missing a scar below her right knee. I gave it to Ursa when we were kids, fighting over a toy sword. If the body is not Ursa's, then we must assume she is still alive. And I will not abandon her. We only know she was taken, not who took her. I can help with that. Ursa has an enemy among the Oseron, a warlord named Durval. Impossible. Every clan in the claim has been hunting for him since the liberation. He has to be dead by now. No other Oseron had the motive and ingenuity to lure Ursa into this trap. I expect to find him lurking somewhere near the border. I've already sent an agent to investigate. He'll be waiting for word from us at the marketplace in Pitchliff. I can't move troops to the border without provoking the Oseron. But I could send a few vanguardsmen. And perhaps an exceptionally gifted Nora as well. I mean, if you got the money, Errant, Marat, my services don't come. Let me cheap. discuss it with her privately. I hate to impose further after all you've done, but this is a matter of great importance to me. I think it just has a unique way of putting the emphasis on syllables. It sounds like Ursa means a lot to you. Without her Asaram vanguard, I would not have been able to liberate Meridian and end my father's brutal reign. Since then, it has been difficult to maintain peace between our tribes. But Ursa has a way of making her people see reason. So you see, I need her back at my side. And quickly. Who is Durval exactly? To understand Durval, you must first understand my father. He truly thought of himself as a sun god. His mind was broken. He believed that blood sacrifice would solve, well, everything. So he raided the other tribes for victims, especially the Asuran. Durval fought back. He crafted powerful weapons and rallied his people. My father responded with the ultimate cruelty. He captured Durval's wife and daughter and sacrificed them in the Sun Ring. So why would Durval go to so much trouble to kidnap Ursa? He felt she betrayed him. She fought by his side until she realized he planned to raise Meridian and butcher its people. And she came to me. Together, we stopped him and liberated the city from my father. Durval has spent every moment since trying to get revenge. Mostly on the other Asuram who fought with us. He made so many powerful enemies. I thought we'd seen the last of him. I was wrong. I need to get going. I know. Sometimes well, the eyes feel like they they're say kind of should never beg. Stick in but place a little too much. Help me find Ursa. But Who a lot of the that? more subtle oh, Marad, facial expressions one. are pretty impressive. Don't hesitate to ask him or like Aaron the ways the eyebrows the change, how they kind of twitch their their cheeks and mouths. Pretty well animated. Not to, and it's not like at the uncanny valley level too, which is good.
I mean, I'm very happy with uh, with how the uh, the snake model turned out as well. The fuck is the map taking me? Ah. Well. Hmm. 